Hey folks, Randy here with Dolan Cut and Trim. So this is my 1995, no, 1996 Toro Pro Line, model number 30157. And this is what I've been running my business on since, well, since the beginning of the 2016 season. Um, I bought this in November of 2015, paid $350 for it. And since that time, it has needed a lot of work to stay running. And I'm gonna go over all that with you and why I eventually decided to replace it. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to do this in some sort of chronological order, but it's gonna be really hard because there was a lot of work done to it. So I'll, I'll just, I'll do my best. Um, so the biggest thing, it's been an ongoing issue, is the deck. Um, pretty early on, the deck got welded right here and right here. These welds and this weld were all done at the same time because this corner has been falling apart nonstop, and it's still falling apart. Um, later on, uh, it got welded again right here and then this weld looks like a crappy weld it's because i welded that on it got welded again there um but it's been a losing cause uh because if i remove this grass you can see we've got another hole opened up so this deck has been dying from this corner out <laughs> um i've got two used but new to the mower uh, tires for the caster uh, I mean for the front wheels um, it's just too much of a mess um, they were all jacked up so these at least hold air even though they're not great um, man there's a lot of mosquitoes out here today I guess we'll just work our way up uh, take the cover off I attach this trash bucket to the cover uh, this is an aftermarket uh, spindle um, the original spindle that had been on there for, you know, over 20 years went bad. And so the OEM for this one on, for Toro is $850, um, which I was definitely not going to do. So I uh, was able to find an aftermarket one. It just kind of like looked online, saw something that looked similar, tested it out, see if it worked, and it did. So I replaced that. That was... I think I paid 125 for that instead of the 850 that Toro wanted. <laughs> um, uh, this is actually some the uh, um, what's used to keep the. Uh, um, it is unbelievable how many mosquitoes are out here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, so this is actually um, the metal that would hold the. Uh, um, uh, clutch in place on an old pro line that I had um, I but I didn't have it went, it, this actually broke the original part and so it's like it was $35 to replace it so I just grabbed this it was similar um, of course that makes this spring pull a lot tighter than it's supposed to so these belts uh, they get pretty stretched over time as a result um, let's see uh, this is an aftermarket recoil the original shattered and uh, Kohler wanted 125 for that um, and I wasn't going to do that so I got this for like 50 on Amazon this shroud was taken off another Kohler engine um, this is actually a 12 and a half horsepower engine not the 14 this uh, uh, transmission uh, the transmission went up on this machine and uh, it actually was going to cost eight and again eight hundred and fifty dollars to replace it do you see all these mosquitoes I mean it's literally like 30 of them just floating around this machine um, I've never seen mosquitoes like this back here um, anyway I was able to get that aftermarket for like I think 150 um, let's see the uh, bearings on either side, these bearings right here, I replaced those. Um, 
they were like 30 bucks total and then this tire <laughs> I actually replaced both tires at the beginning of this season and then I got a hole in the tire and had to replace this tire again so this tire is only like a month old and as you can see got a slow leak in it but it's a pretty slow leak I, I was refilling it every once every I don't know four or five days and it was holding there just fine uh, let's see fuel filter is not that old carb I actually replaced last year I'd been using aftermarket carbs but they weren't working as well so I actually bought that one and that one uh, I think I ended up paying like 75 for it but it works great I'm not gonna fire the engine up because I don't feel like it the engine always starts on the first or second pole uh, so the engines in amazing shape um, okay. Great, grumpy neighbors. Let's see. Um, the, uh, all the wiring, like literally every wire everywhere on this machine was replaced when I was trying to diagnose an electrical issue. Oh, this was re-welded on. This assembly fell apart, like ripped apart. And, uh, so I got that re-welded. Um, it's got an hour meter that has not worked in years because I never took the time to fix it. Um, so anyway, the blade engagement, um, I actually, it's kind of like a two thing. So the way the blade engagement works is you close this, that closes that, that connects that switch, and then you hit this button, you know, close that, and then hit this button, and that'll fire up the blades. Or the other thing you can do is open this, hit that to on, and then whenever you go like that, It'll activate the blades. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this black back part of the frame came off, uh, ripped, was literally ripping off. And so I got that rewelded back on. Uh, it's got a sulky on it that's in pretty rough shape. Uh, that sulky needs to be replaced. It'll pull you, but it's in the process of falling apart. Um, but this is about the mower, so I'm not going to really get into that. And so if I just step back and look at it, I mean, the blades are replaced this year, so the blades are good. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. I mean, obviously air filters have been replaced from time to time and all that. Oh, 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 I forgot. This is something I did. Um, oil changes were a pain in the butt. It used to be you would have to put an oil pan underneath and uh, unscrew this thing and the oil would fall through that hole. Now, uh, if you want to do an oil change, just pull that sucker out. And that's something I did myself. Uh, really proud of it. Other than that, that's it. Um, I wanted to do something fancy for the big reveal of my newest mower. Um, but uh, honestly, I've been dealing with some... Got some kind of weird rash or something. Um, and so I just haven't felt like doing anything besides working. So, But it's getting a little better, so that's why I'm filming this video. Um, but for you guys that are curious, I'm going to show you what the new mower is that I got. And then I'm going to do ne the next video will be a walkthrough of uh, explaining what all it does, what it is, uh, why I picked it, and what I like and don't like so far. So, oh, I forgot to explain why I uh, decided to move on from this machine. Um, honestly... I could have kept going with this machine. It was still running good. Um, it was working fine. It was just starting to, I was just starting to get tired of replacing stuff on it, but it's still got plenty of life left in it. And honestly, the engine, like I said, still starts on this first or second pull every time. So it's still in great shape, but it was just, it just got to the point where it's like, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. And I had the cash in the bank to buy a brand new commercial machine. And so that's what I did. So, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, this machine's still got plenty of life left in it. Looks ugly, um, but plenty of life still to go. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, I mean, I just didn't feel like doing repairs anymore. That, that was the biggest thing. Um, and had the cash to buy something brand new, and so I did. So I went from a 1996 Toro Pro line to a Bradley 
2020 Bradley 36 inch deck walk behind. It is a fixed deck, which I was told I wasn't gonna like, but honestly, I'm not noticing any difference between that and using the Toro. Love this machine, man. Have uh, mowed on with it for four days. So, I don't know, whatever that works out to, 50, 60 lawns that I've done so far with it, it works great. And uh, I love being able to just turn a key and start her up. Um, but my favorite, <laughs> my favorite thing is the swivel wheel sulky, man. Um, I'm gonna have to show you guys this thing in action. This thing is really cool. <laughs> but we'll get more into that in another video. Um, but here's, here's the machine. All ready to go, ready to go to work. I've been putting in a lot of work. The Bradley 36 inch fixed deck walk behind 2020. And yes, it does feel very nice to run a mower that's brand new as opposed to 24 years old. <laughs> we'll get more into that in the next video. It's Randy with Doing Cut and Trim. Thanks for watching.